days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And even to now, you doing street ministry, there's an extent to which you want to go. And then you want to say, okay, this is as far as I'm going. Uh, you need to take a bath, <laughs> you know, before I put you in my car or one thing or another. You know, so I don't, I, I think that we are learning. But submitting to those circumstances that God allows us to enter into or should allow is not something that we're expert at yet. Most of us just avoid it. <laughs> I think we, I think we say that too often. I think we, we you know, I, I, I don't think we really uh, put the, the focus on the things that will really make a difference in the way we live. You know, I, I, I am, I am concentrated on discipleship because discipleship seems to be about application. It seems to be about, about just discussion. Discipleship is about becoming. And what, what, I, what, what I'm finding that I need in my life is I need to, I need to be addressing those things that provoke me To the application, I, I, you know, I don't want to have the discussion when it's all over. I, I shut the screen off and nothing changes. I want something that's going to follow me from this conversation into into looking at what I do when I leave the screen, looking for a crying out the desire that what I talked about <coughs> found expression in me. You see, it, 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 see, that text from last week, you know, I really kind of, and not just that text, I find that in, in most texts, even the one that we looked at this morning, there is no real tearing into that thing to really get the essence of what, to get you to a place where you become a witness. And then, and because he said, he told the apostle, and ye shall be my witnesses. I want you to preach the gospel but the gospel is no good if it has no witness with it. They need to see what you're preaching. That they need to see it. They need to see somebody with it on on the runway and modeling it, so that they can, so that God can capture their heart and cause a fire to be ignited in their heart, saying, "I want that." Because when we see Jesus, when we read His life, there is something that cries out in me that says, "I want, I want that." And he is now calling us to be the means whereby that same kind of fire is kindled in men's heart when they see. When they see the beauty of holiness, when they see love at work, when they see the kind of compassion and the, and, and, and the, un, and the unworldliness and the beauty of his person being expressed through us. So it's not just it's not just one thing. It's a whole host of things that go into making the mission of jesus and the kingdom work reality we got to be clear on that, th part. that i think that's that's it there's a focal point and that focal point is christ everything points back to him so when I, to be a witness to me is more than just saying jesus 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 it's a lifestyle that's submitted to his ordinances it's a lifestyle that's committed to his direction to his leadership so i think in my son watching my life he should have seen a man following jesus christ he should have seen somebody obedient to him and then from being obedient to christ he should see love joy peace long suffering patience meekness goodness. the fruits of the spirit should be evidenced in my life because i'm dedicated to this man jesus christ and that should be the conversation that my son has that should be the witness that my son has from me i'm saying though if we are clear on the mission, if listen, if we are unclear on the mission, then we will forever be rambling. We need we need to be 
absolutely certain and clear <laughs> need. But that, that could, there is no room for any ambiguity or uncertainty about what the mission is. So that we, we don't have to we don't have to keep going back and addressing the, the mission. We know what the mission is. I, I, I mean, I, I'm hoping that in the, in, after all these years of discussion, we are clear what the mission is. And we know those things that are directly and indirectly involved in the fulfillment of that mission. So it, it, all it, that, but we don't. What do we need to do to cause the mission and the work to be realized? That, that, that's, that's the thing we need to get at now. The, the, the mission, in accordance with the man who initiated this, was to seek and to save that which was lost. He said he came to seek and to save that which was lost. Our interaction with him should support that action. We can't seek and save anybody in and of ourselves. We don't have the ability to save a soul, not one single soul. But we can witness it's him. We can we can do our roles to support his effort. His effort is to seeking to save every soul that we come in contact with, most probably, unless he gives us some other directive. Um, so to lose sight, for me to say, and I, I have I, just as an analogy, if I cannot show love to my wife, I am not supporting his effort because he dictates to me, husband, love your wife and be not bitter against him. 